Purify our conscious almighty God by your daily visitation that your son Jesus Christ at his coming may find in us a mansion prepared for himself who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The house lights go off and the footlights come on. Even the chattiest stop chattering as they wait in darkness for the curtain to rise. In the orchestra pit, the violin bows are poised. The conductor has raised his baton. In the silence of a midwinter dusk, there is far off in the deeps of it somewhere a sound so faint that for all you can tell it may be only the sound of silence itself. You hold your breath to listen. You walk up the steps to the front door. The empty windows at either side of it tell you nothing or almost nothing. For a second, you catch a whiff in the air of some fragrance that reminds you of a place you've never been and a time you have no words for. You're aware of the beating of your heart. The extraordinary thing that is about to happen is matched only by the extraordinary moment just before it happens. Advent is the name of that moment. The Salvation Army Santa Claus clangs a bell. The sidewalks are so crowded you can hardly move. Exhaust fumes are the chief fragrance in the air, and everybody is as bundled up against any sense of what all the fuss is really about as they are bundled up against the windshield factor. But if you concentrate just for an instant, far off in the deeps of you somewhere, you can feel the beating of your heart. For all its madness and lostness, not to mention your own, you can hear the world itself holding its breath.